Oh, I remember so, that team. Chiefs. Was, That's the very same team that we, we took. A, I was still starting my business. Yeah. We all got into trouble. We, <laughs> we took a, po- a photo of, of more fire. With, I think it was Kaka, it, it was Sepo Masilela. Remember, yeah. You remember I that? I remember <laughs> that one. Yeah. Yo, bro, oh, the Kaiser bro. Chiefs lawyer sent us. Yo, anyway, yeah. I don't want to talk about that, but I almost got into trouble. <laughs> Getting sued by Kaiser Chiefs, bro. Mm. But the guy showed me love. It was from yeah. just the bottom of their heart, you know? Exactly. And I love we were you guys. All, we like, were all happy for you at that time. Yeah, you know? bro. We were all happy for you. The first energy drink, first South African energy drink by a South African himself. It was huge at that time. Mm. It was huge. And um, we could see you at every corner. Every hey, robot, bro. every hey, corner. Bro. <laughs> hey, bro. Those were the memories. Those were the memories. And I'm glad that you've turned this beautiful thing into a great thing. Thank you, it my brother. Big God has been that. good. Thank true you, inspiration. brother. Really true inspiration. Yeah, so... Um, and then T- Kaiser Chiefs forms the A-team. Kaiser Chiefs forms the A-team. They bring uh, Stuart Baxter. Stuart Baxter was also is also a well known uh, uh, coach in the UK. Um, um, he came. Whew, I could never f- forget that. In his first season, you know, we we won the league, and at that time we we call it the glory days, bringing back the glory days. Yeah. Yes, it was our slogan, and we won the league, and then the then we won the cup, then the year after. We, we just lost the league. Then the year after that, we won the league again and won the cup. And then uh, Stuart Baxter had to leave us. And after he left us, then the drought start, started again. Mm. Till today. Till today. Just, so It's been almost 10 years now, bro. Yes, it's, all, it's been almost 10 years. So I'm just saying I'm blessed. As I said earlier on you know, in, our, in our talk, I'm just blessed that uh, within my journey, I got to see the, the highest of the highest uh, of, of football. Um, sorry that I have to go back now again. Well, I was no, it's okay. at, at FC Twente. We won the league at FC Twente. So when you win the league, you automatically qualify for Champions League. Mm. Which is well, it's the highest club football ever. Mm. We know that the greats of the greats from Champions League. Mm. And one thing I can remember from Champions League at that time, when I was just thinking about it, I was at the school sitting in the, in the, in the TV room. So at school it was this this big TV room. We had no TVs in our room, so we sit in the in the TV room, and Real Madrid played. Um, who Real Madrid played? It was Champions League final, and then Zinedine Zidane scored that that volley. Yeah. yeah. Then I said, I wanna play Champions League. Yes, that volley. I said, I wanna play Champions League, Champions League. And ever since I said I wanna play Champions League, and then when I got to Tanda. Um, uh, um, Tana Royo Zulu. They did. They did a short thing for their page, for their uh, a website page, and they asked me, "What you know, what is your dream? Uh, where do you want to play, and what's your dream?" And I said, "My dream is to play Champions League." 